Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Jill with the Not So Perfect Homeschool. And today I have an unboxing for you guys. Curriculum unboxing, woohoo! I'm also gonna do a thorough flip through of this curriculum for you guys. I got level two of all about reading. I'm so excited. So I started realizing you know, level one was just way too easy for Cade, even though he struggles with reading. Level one just was not the right level. Um, after I did his achievement test, I realized he is at about halfway through like a second grade um, reading level. And so I decided to get him level two of All About Reading. I still think it will be easy enough to where it's not, you know, bad that we're skipping level one, but also I think it'll get challenging as we go on and it will just help him really fill in those gaps that is keeping him from reading fluently. So anyway, I am gonna unbox this because it just got here. That's why I am filming this in my robe because I just was so excited. As soon as it got here, I really wanted to unbox it. So let's get into this. All right, guys, so this is how, well, Sorry, this was on top. So this is how it comes. Um, I like how they have a little padding here at the top so that the books don't get damaged. So here we go. These are the readers. So we have Queen B. And it looks like there's only two readers um, in level two. My guess is that they're longer stories, and so that's why there's less. So I will do a more thorough flip through in just a second. But there's that one. Hold on, Aubrey. Here is the teacher's manual. And I'll do a more thorough flip through. And this is the student pack. Hold on, Aubrey. So, wow. Okay, so the student pack, it's going to have phonogram cards, which are the yellow. The word cards are the green. And then these white pages are part of the, the activity book which this is the cover of the activity book. Um, I do take all the pages out and I cut out all the activities and I put them all in organized um, page protectors. Um, here are the stickers for the chart so that they can track their progress. Looks like there's some syllable tags. So I don't really know what that's about because that's not in level one. So I will find out. Super excited. So I am gonna open all of this up and show you guys inside. Alrighty guys, here we go. A close up look. So here are the stickers. Those are really fun. My kids are going to love those. Okay, there's the stickers. These are the reading syllable tags. Closed syllable, open syllable, vowel team syllable, bossy R syllable, and name game syllable, and pickle syllable. I don't know what those mean, but I guess I will be finding out. I know what open and closed syllables mean. This is the first reader. So it starts out super simple. You guys go outside, please. So I'm gonna skip a chunk here. So there's more words now little bit longer pages to read, more dialogue. Okay, I'm gonna skip another chunk. So I'm towards the end of this reader. Say hi, Kiki. <laughs> See, lots more reading now. 
This is gonna be good for my kids, for my older kids. Okay, so I'm gonna show you into the second reader now. Ooh, dragon in the wagon. That looks fun. So it starts out pretty long stories. I love their illustrations. Ooh. I'm gonna skip some chunks here. I like how they have like the little speech bubbles. How cute, I love this. I love, 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 love. Super fun, super cute stories. Okay, here is into the teacher's manual. Oh, it has a little assessment right here to make sure that they're in the right level. I, we did the assessment online. So the teacher's guide is pretty much just it walks you through what to do during each lesson. It tells you what materials you're going to need. It tells you what they're going to be learning in this lesson. Um, it also tells you what cards to review and stuff like that. It tells you the letter tiles and it, um, you... It, it just walks you through everything that you are going to do. And then it tells you what cards to have them read and so on and so on. And then it tells you the instructions for whatever that day's activity is. So like right here, this is what the activity is going to look like in the student book. And then it tells you what to do and how to do it. And then, oh, it also gives you a little answer key at the bottom. Um, so, yeah. Super fun. So there's the teacher's guide. Also, there's always um, a lot of stuff in the appendix in the back. A lot of resources back here and more activities that you can do. Tips on how to use certain things. How to make the flip cards. So lots of resources in the back. All right, now let's take a look into the student activity book. They have a read aloud record here. There's This is the sticker chart. Super cute. How cute. love it they always have a page like this too that they read after their activities and then it'll have like phrases and sentences words phrases and sentences and then they also do vocabulary and I'll show you when I come across that So like this will be a vocabulary word. So in your teacher's guide, it will tell you how to explain what stunt means to them. So here, you'll be talking about each of these pictures in more detail. So these are little flip books. You cut out each of these um, endings to spur and you staple all of them here and then they just, they flap them over, open. So they'll see spring, sprint, spring, spry, sprung, sprig. And they'll read it as they flip through it.
I love all the all of the activities that they have in these reading lessons. I just love them so much. I love this curriculum. I love everything about it. My kids love it. They beg to do it. Um, sometimes my daughter just brings me her reading lesson and says, let's go, mom. It's time to do it. Let's start. She loves it. And my six-year-old is the one that is on level one. My eight and my 10-year-old are going to be doing this level. My eight-year-old is a good reader for her age, and my 10-year-old is a little bit of a struggling reader. And so it's going to be good to be able to use this one for both of them. And you work at your kid's pace with this. So like I was saying, you work at your kid's pace. Quiet, please. You work at your kid's pace with this. So they say to not go longer than 20 minutes. So if your lesson is um, taking longer than 20 minutes, then break it up over two days and just pick up where you left off the previous day. So it is good to set a timer and just stop at 20 minutes. Okay, so the phonograms all just start off super simple, just one letter. And those are like for the lower levels, probably mostly review. And then it goes into like these. And these are towards the, um, towards the end. And then the words also start out more simple. And then they go into like more double syllable words. Probably talking about silent E's in these levels. Double E's. I'm kind of, I'm skipping big chunks, by the way. Alrighty guys, so thank you so much for watching this unboxing and flip through of All About Reading Level 2. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will have a link below in my description box if you want to check out All About Reading. Um, go ahead and use my link to get you to the website and take a look around, take the placement tests, um, figure out if it's the right fit for your kiddos, and yeah, I will, I will also be doing some do a lesson with me's of this um, as the year goes on. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. I think